Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Wizards of the Coast and Magic the Gathering and more political correctness. Mm-hmm. Appar- that's, what, that's what it needs. That's what it needs, right? Uh, apparently, Magic the Gathering is getting rid of an offensive term, a very offensive term. Any guesses as to what it is? It's the word tribal. Yes. The word tribal is so offensive that Wizards is purging it from magic cards, just like they've had issues before with uh, orcs being racist stereotypes, and and uh, they've decided that the uh, the drow, the dark elves in Dungeons and Dragons, yeah, they have to be like purple or blue skin. They can't have black skin because right, that's right. blackface. Uh, we can't refer to Oreo. Even they literally are dark, dark elves. Skin. Yeah. Right, right. We can't uh, do anything with Oriental Adventures from back in the day without a disclaimer on it because it was all, you know, I mean, look, they've gone all in on the political correctness. They have sensitivity consultants at Wizards, and now even Reddit is questioning this decision. They're like, this is stupid because there are many people in tribes, indigenous people who actually use the word tribal in a non-offensive way. They think it's stupid. They think it's dumb. Mm -hmm. The people you think you're offending are not offended. They think you're idiots. This is just uh, white people overcorrecting once again. So we're going to talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. Guys, you'll get a woohoo if you do. And uh, Hasbro and Wizards and Stupidity uh, go hand in hand these days. Mm -hmm. Lots of stupidity. They seem to be driving away a lot of their core consumers with, well, if it's not the the uh, political correctness, it's the greed, the pure greed, and the uh, decline in product. I mean, geez, I just saw this. The new uh, MTG starter kit is the most mid-product ever printed Ooh. from uh, MTG Rocks. The most mid-product ever printed. This is how you're going to get people into, uh, into the game. They had a controversy the other week with uh, Dungeons and Dragons that they were using AI art. Mm-hmm. And uh, they had to release a statement on that. I mean, it's like every damn month. There's some something else that this company is doing that's just, just completely idiotic. But uh, here we go. This is this week's disaster. Um, coming from the, uh, let's see, the Federal List. Magic the Gathering decides the word tribal is offensive, but to whom? It uh, recently announced it was retiring the word tribal from the game's vocabulary over concerns that the term was racist. God. All cards printed in the future will have the word removed and old cards will receive errata to guarantee no one's feelings are hurt. Why is tribal racist? Who knows? Cultural consultants told the higher-ups at Magic's parent company, Wizards of the Coast, owned by Hasbro. Um, it was, so there had to be a change. It's like right? the books. A bunch of uh, sensitivity readers decided that these books that were from years ago need to be all changed. Because their fifis are hurt, even though they don't identify in the way that would be offended, but because they are upset by it, they're offended for you on your behalf. They're offended Thank on God your behalf. They're here to 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 make sure they take the offensive the, the for you, the fence for you, um, yeah, and then tell you you're a bad person if you're not offended by it, but you identify that way. So this is uh, Mark Rosewater, the head designer for Magic, dedicated family man. A lot of talk about typo, typo. Tipple? Typle? Recently on Twitter, so I thought I'd say a few things. We use tribal internally to mean uh, cares about the creature type. Multiple consultants recommended we stop using the language, so we decided to change it. We picked a <laughs> word that was similar. Same number of syllables, so we can swap it in the That's same place. Where typle. It sounds just like tribal. It typle. sounds t- typle, tribal. It sounds about the same. <laughs> Is that what they're replacing with yes! typle? Is that how this works? But what if somebody's offended by the word typo? What if what if you're offending somebody? What if you're uh, you you have a, you had a pal named Ty a long time ago and he you don't like Ty anymore, or maybe you're afraid of Beanie Babies and you hate the word typo typo it's offensive to you. Um, are you going to change it for those people who are offended by typo? Hey everybody, tell them you're offended by the word typo. Tell them it's culturally insensitive. Well, and well, they change it. Well, the Latinx word comes up because basically this is, this is again, this is a bunch of uh, overly sensitive white people deciding what is racist based on, uh, con, you know, consultants and sensitivity readers and all that jazz. These people have to find things that are problematic to keep their jobs. But you know, they 
makes me mad. Meanwhile, they're telling everybody those are problematic terms and you can't use them. But they're telling women they have to be they have to be labeled as birthing people or egg carriers, egg carriers, or, or you know whatever menstruating persons because you're not allowed to be called a woman because it's insulting to other people. So they're literally telling women a minority that they can't they can't use the word woman. And because other people decide it. And it's like, you know, it's, when, when does the stupidity end? It sounds like a science fiction movie. Those who menstruate. Um, I am they, a, they won't go with that one because the word men is in it. I am a testicle enabled human. Testically enabled? Yes, testically. You can call me testiculon. You know, you keep saying testiculon. I think you're sure it says testiculon. Lord of the testicles. Wait, that sounds bad. That could go. That could go very bad. Okay, anyway. Uh, criticisms of the term tribal have cropped up in recent months. Have they? What, like, like the two people that are mad about it? Two white people are offended on behalf of Native Americans. Yes, I'm sure. Um, yes, Portland most The affected. ones that were paid to go find issues when there are none? Yeah, that, that's the whole thing. Sensitivity readers, it's a damn racket. Now, look, I understand if you're dealing with a culture maybe you're not familiar with, you bring somebody in who maybe is familiar with the culture just for the sake of authenticity. I, were those, I get were that. those sensitivity readers actually people from Native American culture? Probably not. Uh, well, then it doesn't matter what they say because you have to ask them directly. Oh, wait. We learn with the tanks or Latinx or whatever they call it that you don't have to. That comes up. Right. That comes up. Um, anyone else using it is engaged in oppression. We're going to talk about it because according to Reddit, uh, there are Native American indigenous magic players who are like, this is such freaking bullshit. Like, what What are you doing? Forget about how the term came from the Romans describing the barbarians they met or how tribe has been used to refer to groups of people from Africa to Asia to Australia. People on the same, same people that are complaining are ones on social media going, me and my tribe. <laughs> you know? Or forget how actual Natives, such as those currently fighting to change the Washington, D.C.'s football team name back, to the Redskins have said they don't view these types of things as racist. Mm -hmm. uh, there are, I didn't, I didn't well, realize Well, they tried to cancel that. people for wearing kimonos and stuff like that. And they said that were in their culture that, you know, cause it was done respectfully that they, they consider it like an honor. Like you, like you, you try to learn about their culture and they appreciate the fact that you put the effort into it. And they were trying to get people, you know, canceled over that. Over oh yeah, the one, yeah. the one Chinese dress that you always see. They're trying to get them canceled over that. Um, and then the other cultures are like, we're not mad. Um, we think that's kind of really, you know, an honor that you're, that you like it so much that you're trying to imitate it. And these people, the Karen's are like, no, you're canceled appropriation. Oh my God. Glug, 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 glug. Yeah. So they said, yeah, this is just white guilt again, white liberal guilt. A vocal fraction of a faction must be allowed to dictate what language we use. Um, they said it truly is a minority. They said many of Magic's players reacted with ridicule to the change. Now, this is Reddit, which is uh, pretty progressive. Native people literally use the term tribal to describe themselves and other natives. Gotta love the white savior complex. Also, there are non-American people who refer right. to themselves other as tribes. There's other countries like, you know, that they have, they have different tribal nations. <sighs> Uh, this guy here, uh, stop mana cheating. I will never say typo. Typo? Is that what it is? It's tipple? a stupid name. Tipple? It's a word. Typo. Typo? Typo? Wow. It's stupid. The actual. It's like nipple. <laughs> nipple. There you go. Just call it nipple. There you go. Nipple. The actual indigenous I'm groups. I'm offended by nipples. Uh, I'm offended by nipples. Some people are. Uh, the actual indigenous. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, hey. How's it going? I, are you offended now? Are you a, 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 a nippless person? I just got flashed. The actual indigenous groups that tribals supposedly offend don't give a shit. This is why you never let Twitter influence your products. This guy says, I'm a citizen of the Choctaw tribe, and this is stupid. It's belittling. Yes, it is. It's like calling women birthing people. <laughs> Imagine changing your vocabulary because a handful of... Uh, uh, <laughs> mentally slow. Uh -uh. A handful of retarded white bitches complained about words. Are we allowed to use that word? I don't know. It wasn't us. We're just quoting. We need another word that starts with a, an R that rhymes. This is a quote. I don't, Ru see, rhubarb. I personally, I, rhubarb yes. whiny bitches. You know, I hate, I, I actually don't like using that term. But, you know, that's me. I think it's it's mean. Go ahead. Rhubarb whiny bitches. Okay. Rhubarb. Because it sounds I do, like. I figured that better. There you go. They're rhubarb. Uh, changes like this are the clear cut sign of Watsi's mental rot. They just randomly do that kind of thing as they have absolutely no fundamental understanding of what they're doing. And they listen to a bunch of mega weirdos that represent absolutely nobody that plays the game. 
It's cringe, it's unnecessary, and it starts conversations between players that potentially get potentially volatile and ruin the fun people could have. That's what, you know, kind of got me in this whole thing with uh, D&D and tabletop in general, like as, as toxic as the comic book industry can be right now, as toxic as the cartoon, well, I don't know about cartoons, they might, cartoons gives them a run for the money, but you know, the, the cartoon scene can be pretty toxic too. Tabletop gaming is the most bizarre shit I have seen in any of the nerd spaces. Well, well this is this goes on. As some weirdos will immediately believe you are Hitler incarnate if you do not think tribal is the racist at the core. That we see this in the cartoons and games and stuff too. Yeah. If you don't be- agree with the whatever dumbassery it is for that week, it's because you're a terrible person. You must be a racist. You must be an istophobic, whatever. You're if you're a woman, you're clearly an internalized misogynist. Yeah, it's so stupid. And look, these are the same people that are going to go to bat for Wizards if they actually have people going to bat for them over this change are really forgetting uh, the very recent past where Wizards tried to basically steal all your shit Mm -hmm. with that OGL thing and uh, all these other dumb changes they made, the AI debacle. I was going to say, they're uh, writing people's names out and send the Pinkertons. They sent the Pinkertons. Yeah, they sent the Pinkertons to the guy's house because he got the cards early. This I mean, goes on. on. It's like, just wait till they ban all the tribal cards because of racist reasons. That's I think that, what they that's will That's exactly do. what they're going to do. Like yeah. they did with other art that's in, insanity, Watsy operates on right now, and it just keeps getting worse as they have to cut the rotten parts off, but they keep them and it festers and corrupts them even more. Yeah, I think it's. I think this is a Hasbro thing. I think this is uh, Hasbro's corporate. I wonder why their stock's going bad. Yeah, well, they actually they actually rebounded a little bit. I think because they sold off their entertainment division. And people are were like, really? "Oh, good, you're not gonna make shitty movies anymore." That's great. That's great. That's okay. They'll make another mistake to tank it again. Yeah, they said this seems to be a common theme amongst the language police, replacing perfectly serviceable words with ones concocted in some academic's twisted brain. Magic's tribal debacle. Echo, echoes another uh, linguistic game played by the left, Latinx, instead yes. of Latino, because it sounds similar enough, but you replace the letter, and now it's not as offensive or something. 40% of Hispanics said the word bothered or offended them. Doesn't matter. What do the white leftists do? Use it anyway. Yeah, I've had several uh, several of our viewers comment that they hate the word. They've tried to get it labeled as like hate speech because they're basically like, you're telling us, you white academics are telling us how to use our own language. Okay, so according to the Cambridge Encyclopedia of Anthropology, it's derived from the Latin term tribus, the administrative divisions and voting units of ancient Rome. It came to be used in biblical text. Oh, the Bible got to be racist for the 13 divisions of the early Israelites and appears with this meaning in the Middle English in the 13th century. So basically they had the word already. And when they came over here, they supplied it to tribal units or units. And then it's just stupid. It's, it's, it, it, it is. It's Latin. It's ancient Rome. Oh, my God. Uh, by the 16th century, it was being applied to non-biblical contexts in a way that resembled concepts such as race and lineage. The notion of tribe took on a very particular role in the era of colonial ex- expansion. It became a social unit. They said for life organiz- organizing social form. So they did, they call it, they use it for tribe. So and it was an English word for tribe that came from a Latin word for, you know, voting units. And they weren't even calling themselves that. Basically, we called them that. And then, but now you can't use the word that we applied because they use it. I, that I doesn't even make sense. It doesn't make sense. It, uh, th- this this company is lost. There's nobody. I mean, seriously, we dunk on Disney all the time, but but Wizards of the Coast is like just lost beyond lost at this point. Basically, Germans were considered Gauls and Germans were considered barbaric and considered tribes. Also, yes, I yes. happen to be very German. So what? She I, is. She's I, I guess you know what. Though? I'm allowed to use the word tribe. Uh, there you go. It's German, my word. It's you can my use the word. Because they use it to apply to you as well. So, you know, since, since they, English, they use the English word to apply, if, if you're from any group that they, that they use the English word to apply to, fuck them. You can use it anyway. So I'm, I'm looking at this, this laundry. Yeah. So we got the Pinkertons. We got the OGL debacle. Mm-hmm. We've got the AI scandal. Oh, they race bent all the Lord of the Rings people. We race bent Lord of the Rings characters. Gender no, swap some of them too. Nobody really wanted that. Nobody asked oh, for it. Oh, but according to them, that was like their top seller. Oh, uh, it was like their top seller. Um, yeah. Well, will we ever know the truth? Because lots of these magic cards are getting dumped in the landfills. We had we sold so many. They'll never <laughs> find them. Yeah. <laughs> 
Bank, Bank of America called them out for tell, you know, saying that the, the quality of their product is declining. I mean, they're getting it from all sides. This is, I believe, a shell game. Wizards of the Coast is basically, I think the long-term strategy for them is to become a video game company and to get sold. That's you know, what I think the long term. And so they're just trying to stay afloat long enough to, to I, do I figured that. it out. The whole tribal thing was a reason that they could say, we have to dump all these cards in a landfill and then people can get mad about it. Oh, they were all misprints. Yeah. No, we, we have to change it because the tribal on it. Uh, so we have to destroy those cards. That or they're trying to get you to look the other way while you're mad about the word tribal so they can get rid of all the Lord of the Rings cards they swear they sold. Huh. That is true. Oh, the Lorcana. Is it Lorcana or Lorcana? I don't even I know. Lorcana. Yeah, I, this is a whole deal. This is a whole deal too. So here's the thing. If... And I hate I hate to root for Disney. I absolutely hate to root for Disney. Well, especially since they're in a lawsuit over this. It looks like they're they, a, the person did kind of take it. Yeah, they're in a lawsuit. That's, that's, looks. A, that's a whole thing, right? But this might actually eat Wizards lunch because apparently this this game is incredibly mm. popular. People are so yeah. Apparently, what happened was the game it 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 comes out. I don't know if it's out yet. It was going to come out today at the parks, which it was sold out like almost immediately. Yeah, it came out two weeks early. To retailers and then retailers, you know, this people supposedly bought them and put them on eBay, but they said they 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 tracked back to whoever owned the account from eBay. It turned out to be like a lot of retailers, and they were upselling them like twice, two times, three times the price. So I don't know if the retailers directly were doing it or people bought them and flipped it. But the the prices on these things are are absolutely insane. Yeah, and this is a whole this is a whole thing because they poached uh, the game designer or something. Yeah, or- and then Ravensburger was normally not a Card game. No, they, they did were board tabletop. Games. Yeah, board games. Yeah, not yeah. card games. And we have so a couple. There. It was uh, Upper Deck who had. I guess they're working on something very similar. Yes. And this was the designer, and then they left with the Magic the Gathering. And they claim took a lot of you know stuff with him that now came out to this game. Yeah, and it's um. I mean, it's incredibly popular already. And here's the thing: like Magic isn't the only game in town. No pun intended, but it's it's it isn't. There are all kinds of other card games. And all it's going to take are for a few decent competitors to pop up. Of course, this is Disney, so who the hell knows what's going to happen? I was going to say that don't get stupid with political correctness, but this is a Disney card game. But I would like to think that they would... Uh, I don't think know, they can with this I one. I don't know. Because Disney's already figured that before they put it out, because I guarantee you that they already went through it with a DEI person multiple times and sensitivity readers. Yeah, they talk about the suit between Upper Deck and Ravensburger. They're like, mm-hmm. yeah, there were remarkable, uncanny similarities right. between the game. And they were originally, designing. people said they didn't think they had a case, but they said in situations regarding this, they think they might. They might. So I'm not a lawyer. Money but makes I'm just saying, it go I've away. Seen, I've seen articles talking about it. Go ahead. Yeah. So money makes it go away. And the, yeah, there's money gonna, makes it go away. And there's going to be a lot of you know. Well, Disney has money. Yeah. Well. Yeah. They didn't make DeSantis go away. No, they did not. So we'll, we'll see what happens. But yeah, it's, it's just, I, I don't even know what to say anymore. Like, I, I have no interest in buying anything from Wizards. They just get dumber and dumber. And I know but people... The ones that did the AI books? No, that was Magic. But no, that was, yeah, no, that was Wizards too. That was, was D&D. Oh, yeah. So that, that was oh, D&D. 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 Okay. Yep. Yep. I'm so, trying to remember. I'm trying to keep track of which which company did which stupid thing. Yeah. Well, it's all it's all Wizards of the Coast. It's like a flow chart. I, I would say the magic arm of Wizards is infinitely more scuzzy and questionable than the D and D arm. But well, the OGL thing was a, a huge issue. If you had a Venn diagram of all these companies, the the, the circle is the, the part of the circle. It's a dumbassery. They had all intersect there. <laughs> I'm right. And they intersect in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. That's where Hasbro is. And this is the same company that wanted the potato persons. And uh, yeah, yeah. So it is what it is, guys. And look, I, I don't think any of these games are long for this world in a physical form. They have been trying. They have a, you know people from Microsoft that are in charge now. And we just talked about it on the podcast the other day. And it seems like they're pushing really, really hard into making these making these into video games. And I think they're just doing what they're they just going to piss their whole audience off before then. Yeah. And they'll say, well, Hey, uh, we have a great, uh, we have a great uh, way to recoup that, that lost uh, revenue. We're going to, we're going to just make it a video game. They already have a magic uh, computer game, but they're going to, they're going to ramp that up to 11. So I don't know guys. It's just, it's a stupid company doing stupid things. We're going to wrap this up. That's right. Be careful. We don't want to get the Pinkertons to show up. I don't want the Pinkertons to show up. Yes. Oh my God. The Pinkertons. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support 
and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.